football from NRG Stadium in Houston. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Houston Texans. And we are underway from NRG Stadium in Houston. On the return comes Webster. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. At their own 25-yard line. as they get a quick first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. Second and 12. Now Burrow. That's complete to John Ross. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Going down the middle, and it's complete. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 39-yard line. Now it's Burrow. They'll roll him out right. That's complete to the tight end sample. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Throwing again, it's Burrow. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. That took his attention elsewhere to no avail. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. To the air again, Burrow. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. To punt on fourth down, here's Rigoberto Sanchez. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back. Watson will bring up the Texans here first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They will 
will get four yards here on the first down run, and that'll make it second and six. Well, at the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. And now a pass dumped off to his running back. Give him five on the screenplay, and that'll set up a third down. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. They're able to convert with a gain of four. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Here's Watson. Now they go screen, it's complete. And he went nowhere, well, he went backwards, back to the 33. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Got to give some credit there defensively. They snuffed out that screen early on first down. Really read it well, didn't they? Because they didn't bring the pressure that they expected. They covered all the passing lanes. So once you see a breakdown as the passer, I think in this situation, you're throwing it at the feet of your back to make sure no one picks it off, or you throw it away, throw it over the sideline. Don't try and freelance and try and make a bigger play. There's really no one else running a pass. It's caught inside the 25. And he finally goes down at the 23-yard line. First and 10 of the 20. Running their plays over and over during the week can often get robotic for an offense. But on game day, they can often flow smoothly, as that one just did. No score after one on EA Sports. No score. They run the option here on first and ten. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Decided to hand it off that time on the run-pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice, steady gain. Four at the 16. The last run got six. Now second and four. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what'll be a third and four. It's now third and four. shotgun now here's an inside give and he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. first and 10. give him the third down conversion five yards on the play i'm coming i'm coming now a first and 10 at the 11. Right back to him on first down. And this time he's going backwards. So after the no gain on the last attempt, here they get him behind the line. This defense is really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get his running game going. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. Watch 
Now a handoff here to his running back. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the 8-yard line. It'll be a gain of 5, and it's going to bring up a third and about 7 left. Brings up third and 7. Now they try the right side here. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. They'll get six there on the run, but it brings up fourth down. Some good strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. So on fourth down, Texan kicker Kaimi Fairbairn comes on. This a chip shot, a 20-yarder. The kick by Fairbairn is good. And it's now 3-0 Texans. So a dozen plays on that drive CD, but in the end, it yields just the three points. Well, they were able to keep the defense on the field for a long time, but let's be honest about it. That was about as unsatisfying a drive as you're going to get. 12 plays and you only get three points out of it. Not quite the ending they were looking for. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. 25 yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. This one a little slow to get cooking. Just a 3 0 score line as they begin with a first and 10. Now a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. Cincinnati. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he goes across midfield and down into Houston territory. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Second quarter, two minutes remain. Three nothing, our score. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. Burrow able to find Sample. That's complete. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. To now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts. As they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. God, it's Burrow. And that is caught. He's got it for a Bengal touchdown. Complete. To John Ross, his first touchdown on the year. And the Bengals have taken the lead. And this is up and good to make it 7 3. Makes the score Bengals 7, Texans 3. Rigoberto Sanchez set to kick off. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. Takes it at the seven. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. At their own 32-yard line. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can 
never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Well, so much for getting separation. No chance there. Locked down tight, forcing the incompletion on that attempt. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. This time of the tailback. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And force the incompletion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. Once again, they'll keep it on the ground. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. Touchdown, Houston! A great effort there. His first touchdown on the year. And the Texans have retaken the lead. That could be an important swing right there. Touchdown of the final minute of the half to take the lead. And I like the point you just made there. It could be an important swing because now that they have the lead, if they can carry that into the locker room at the half, they'll feel really good about what they accomplished in the first two quarters. Fairbairn good with the extra point. And the lead is now 10-7. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. Taken in the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Bengals drive about to get going. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something on first down. And it's something that's safe. It's something that's been done many times before. A lot of people say it's not even worth trying, but I'm running a draw. I'm running a screen. I'm seeing if something pops. And if it does, that can alter my strategy and potentially get me some points. And if it doesn't work, well, then you just run the clock out and go to the locker room. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Gain on the play brings up third down. Now a handoff looking right. And he's going to have a first down, but not sure it'll matter as the clock will continue to run. So we've come upon halftime here in Houston, and it's the home team, the Texans, leading this one. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. It's the Texans in front, and they're going to get the football first as we are back underway in the third quarter. Fielded in the end zone. And he will not bring it out. It's a touchback. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Faking the give. Now Watson. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. And he's going to find his man out of the back. 
field. That's complete. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Consecutive catches for him. That good for 11. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now they try the right side here. And he is across midfield from 149 to the other 49, a gain of just two. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. From just shy of midfield, Watson looking for his running back, and he's got it. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. Watson. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And they'll get this down to the 10. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. They ran that one well. And not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Now a handoff looking right. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll be stopped up after only a couple of yards as he gets it down to the five. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. The offense here not budging. They're going to fight for it on fourth and inches. They will indeed snap it to Watson. And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. A great play there. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Texans will add on to their lead. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you have taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. Take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line.
The Bengals drive about to get going. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Second and 10. Thanks for tagging along with us here from Houston, Texas. Burrow looking to pass. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. This one hauled in by Sample. And he's going to be taken down here still a couple yards short of the first. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he'll punt it away for the second time. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And a great job on special teams to down it as this will be marked down inside the five-yard line. Four-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. And from that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. And they will start this drive with just terrible field position backed up inside their own five. But we have seen teams be bold here and take shots, right? Sometimes you go max protection, make it a one-receiver route, and take your shot downfield and see what happens. And occasionally, we've seen success occur. they come to the line they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter you are watching the nfl on ea sports second down and eight now a handoff here to his running back and he's going to be taken down shy of the 10 right around the 9-yard line. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. Now third and five. the gun. Here's Watson. Got an open man. It's QT. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. That third down conversion good for 23. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Right at the Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Second and 10 at the 33-yard line. Yes. 
So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. And he'll give it here to his running back. And the hole closes quickly. He gets it across the 35 to the 36-yard line. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. Third and six. some clock here as they keep it on the ground and he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage no gain there on the play and that's going to leave him with a fourth down the Texans send the punter out as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon Special teams work here. This is knocking on the door of the five. They'll spot it at the six-yard line. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. A leaping, and he makes the grab. And they'll get him down up past the 15. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Now a play fake here on first down. He'll buy some time right. He's going to take off with it. And he'll be out of bounds near the 30. In fact, right on the 30. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. Going deep downfield for Ross. That's caught inside the 20. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. John Ross, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bengals have got it back to a one-score game. Rodrigo Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. And this is up and good to make it a 17-14 game. Score Texans 17, Bengals 14. Rigo Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. This one taken just inside the 10. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. First and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. And this will be a Texans first down as the tackle made here at the 36. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Now a timeout called for by the defense as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. He's got a new four! Check it back, check it back. 
Check nickel, nickel, nickel. Whip, 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 whip. What's the whip? Check 99. Check 99. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with 65 seconds remaining. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Down to a knee here as the Texans look to let the clock roll. Now the Bengals going to signal for their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. The Texans look to let the clock roll. And a nickel look here for the Bengals as they try to defend this on third. Down to an egos Watson, and that should just about do it for this ball game. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? <laughs> and the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. So Houston going to come away here with the victory. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game. No turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. But what we saw here was offenses spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn. So for the Texans, their strong start to the year continues as they're up to 5-1. And, and they'll hit the road next week to take on the Denver Broncos. Meanwhile, for the Bengals, the loss will move them back to 3-2 and two on the year. And they'll try and turn things around next week as they...